magandang araw! Sama-sama tayong matuto sa Teacher Self Learning Resource Channel. Revise K-12 Curriculum, Science 5, Quarter 1, Week 1. Our topic is all about matter in daily life and matter in its three states. Here are the learning objectives. Define solid, liquid, and gas. Provide sample materials that are solid, liquid, and gas. Here's a mystery box containing different materials. Identify each material. For the first material, what is it? You're right, it is a toy. Next. Very good, it is a paper. What about the third material? You're right, it is an inflated balloon. For the fourth material, very good, these are rocks. And for the last material, you're right, it is a milk. What are the things inside the box? Where do you see these things? What other term can use to name these things? Are these materials useful for you? How? For the lesson purpose, in the succeeding weeks, we will be doing activities which will help us understand more about the things around us. Through these activities, we will conquer the world of matter, their three phases, their characteristics, and where we can find them. For you to understand our topics better, try to familiarize yourselves with these terms by arranging the jumbled letters to come up with the correct term being described. Number 1. Anything that occupies a space and has mass. You're right, it is matter. Has closely packed molecules which limit movement and has definite shape. Very good, it's solid. Has loosely packed molecules permitting them to have some movement. Thus, has no definite shape. Liquid. Has molecules far from each other. Thus, has maximum freedom to move around. Gas The amount of space occupied by an object or substance. It is volume. For the subtopic one, let's discuss characteristics of matter and its different phases. Matter matters. Your class will be grouped into two. Group 1 will go around the room and list all the things you see inside the classroom. Group 2 will investigate the picture posted on the board. Using the table below, list all the things you saw in your respective tasks. Afterwards, share what you saw with your classmates. For Group 1, here is the chart, the things I see inside the classroom. For group 2, the things I see in the picture. This is the image to be used for group 2. What are the things that you saw inside the classroom or in the picture? Compare your answers. Have you seen the same things inside the room and from the picture? Can you describe the things that you have identified? How do you call the things that you see inside the outside the classroom? How do you call the things that you see inside and outside the classroom? What is matter? Aside from the things that you have identified in your activity, Give other examples of matter. Do you consider yourself and your classmates matter? Why? 
you are considered matter because you occupy space and mass. So do not think that you are a waste of space and not worth it because you matter. For the work example, gallery walk, knowing matter more. Your teacher will prepare four stations in the classroom where you can read and observe the different characteristics or concepts about matter. For the station 1, matter takes space. 2. Matter has mass. 3. Matter has shape and color. 4. Matter has texture. What are the characteristics of a matter? Explain each characteristics of matter. Give other examples showing explaining each characteristic. Let's have the discussion. For station 1, matter takes space. The materials in the station are pebbles, cup, and water. When an empty cup was filled with pebbles, what happened to the space in the cup? The space in the cup was taken up already by the pebbles. Can you add more pebbles into the cup after filling it up to its brim? Why? No, because there is no more space for the additional pebbles. No pebble can take the space occupied already by other pebble. When you fill the empty cup half filled with water, what happened to the space in the cup? The space in the cup was taken up by the water. When you kept on pouring water into the cup, what happened to the water? Why? When we kept pouring water into the cup, the water spilled. This happened because the space up to the brim of the cup was taken up already by water. No water can take up the same space at the same time. What can you say then about space occupied by matter? Matter occupies space. Once space is taken up by matter, nothing else can take up the same space at the same time. For station 2, matter has mass. Materials in the station, pebbles, weighing scale. What did you observe when you place the pebbles or other materials at one end of the weighing scale? The end where the pebbles were placed went down. What characteristics of matter is shown in this activity? Matter has mass. For station 3, matter has shape and color. Materials in the station, materials vary depending on the teacher but include piece of paper and a ball. What are the materials that you saw on the table? Name the shapes of the materials found in the table. How about their colors? Piece of paper, rectangular, white ball, circular, orange, and others. Based on this activity, what can you say about matter? Matter has shape and color. For station 4, matter has texture. What are the materials you found on the table? The materials found on the table were piece of sandpaper, piece of floor tile, and mirror. What can you say about the surface of the sandpaper, piece of floor tile, and mirror? The sandpaper has rough surface, while the mirror has smooth surface. For the floor tile, one side is smooth, the other side is rough. Based on this activity, what can you say about matter? Matter has texture. For subtopic 2, the three phases of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Sing the song. Take note of the three words repeatedly mentioned in the song. Accomplish the table given. The song can be found on the given YouTube link. Write the words repeatedly mentioned in the song. 
and example of materials given in the video for each repeated word. What are the three keywords repeatedly mentioned in the song? What are solid, liquid, and gas? What are the examples mentioned in the song for each phase of matter? Do you want to know more about solid, liquid, and gas? Let's differentiate the three phases of matter through an activity. You can watch the video on the given YouTube link. The title of the video is Arrangement of Molecules in the Three States of Matter. Here are the guide questions. What are the three phases of matter? Draw the molecules of each phase of matter. Number two, describe each phase of matter based on their molecular arrangement. Three, give example materials for each phase of matter. What are the three phases of matter? The three phases of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. Draw the molecules of each state of matter. Here are the molecules of the three states of matter. Describe each phase of matter. Solid, the molecules are closely packed to each other, thus they can hardly move. The attraction between molecules is very strong, and there is little to no free space for each molecule, making them rigid and keeping their shape. Liquid, the molecules are loosely packed. Movement of molecules is possible because there is considerable space in between molecules which allow them to slide past one another or flow. They don't have shape of their own, thus taking the shape of their container. Gas. The molecules are loosely packed. Movement of molecules is possible because there is considerable space in between. Molecules which allow them to slide past one. The molecules are separated from each other by white spaces. It has the least attraction between molecules permitting them to have maximum freedom of motion. Because of the nature of its molecules, gas has no definite shape and volume. Like liquid, gas takes the shape of its container, but only gas has indefinite volume and fills the volume of its container or flow. They don't have shape of their own, thus taking the shape of their container. Give examples for each phase of matter. What have you learned? Fill out each box in the chart with at least three words to summarize the concepts gained from the different activities. For your formative assessment, draw the molecules of the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Here are the correct answers. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Athena wants to conduct an experiment to observe the volume of different solid objects. She fills two containers with small marbles made of glass and saw no change in the volume occupied by the marbles in both containers. What conclusion can Athena draw about the volume of solids based on her observations? A. Solids have a variable volume. B. Solids have a definite volume. C. Solids have no volume. D. Solids have a changing volume. Amanda pours water into a container and observes that the volume of water remains. The same when transferred from the measuring cup to the container. What can Amanda conclude about volumes of liquids? A. Liquids have indefinite volume. B. Liquids volume doubles as it transfers from one container to another. C. Liquids have definite volume. D. Liquids have no volume. During a science experiment, 
Jerica bursts a balloon as she fills it with air by blowing continuously. What do you think happened to the air inside the balloon? A. It becomes solid. B. It disappears. C. It changes its volume. D. It spreads out. Diana filled different balloons with helium gas for a birthday party. The balloons have different shapes. What do you think Diana can conclude about the shape of gases after inflating all the balloons? A. Gases maintain their original shape. B. Gases are round no matter what the shape of their container is. C. Gases take the shape of their container. D. Gases cannot be contained and will disappear. Nico pours water into various containers and observes that the water follows the form of the container, where it is poured. What property of matter did he observe? A. Conductivity B. Volume C. Density D. Shape Here are the correct answers. 